Okay, hi guys. Uh, uh, recently I made a project where I use the limb motion as a, as a cursor. So uh, this is good nowadays because the COVID situation, so we don't touch anything in uh, part, any part of the screen. And I want to share this project with you, just the, the script where we, we move the, the hand and move the cursor. But uh, let's start it. So first of all, we need to choose the correct version, choose whatever you want, uh, the, uh, the version of Unity, sorry. <laughs> so I prefer to use the long-term support. The last, the lastest um, long-term support version is, is this. So I made a, pro I made a project before. Uh, you need to create a, choose the version and create a 3D template, okay? Uh, because we need the, uh, the zeta position of the hand because we don't want to move the hand up and move the cursor up we, we want to move in the x position to move right and left and the zeta position to move uh, in front and, and back to, to move the cursor up and down okay so uh, I created this project already so I open it and we need to to download the the models. So go to developer Limotion to develop uh, Unity and check if you you already installed the 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 SDK. So install it please and. Uh, you got the SDK installed if you got the lip motion control panel, okay? So, uh, download the, for, uh, the modules for the Unity 2019 and plus versions. Uh, let's check if you download and log in. in. Okay, the motion modules, okay, accept. So, uh, okay, first of all, we need to, do, to, to, to go to the project settings. If you don't got this window, go to, uh, it's here, I think, project settings. Okay, edit project settings. So the windows appears and we need to go first uh, to XR plugin management and install it. Okay, install the XR management system and da, 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 da. okay we got this open it and extract here we got these three um, three unity packets okay we just need the, the core before the the drag here the core we need to install the xblock management okay it's already installed so we drag the shit. <laughs> we drag the car. Uh, maybe uh, I made another tutorial of interactive engine, but first of all, we need to use the car. Okay, import. Okay, once we got all installed, uh, let's check if it works. Uh, and go to plugins, the motion, curve, axe samples, and capsule hand desktop version. Okay, so let's check. And it works. Okay, okay, it works. And uh, so go to the scene, sample scene, for example, and let's start it. I uh, Create a child. Uh, let's call it lib service provider. Provider. So we need to add the lib service provider. Lib service provider. Okay, we get two lib service provider. We just need the the normal. The the XR is for VR 
and maybe for uh, AR, no. Uh, so let's add it, lip service provider. What is the lip service provider? Uh, this is where the hands will move. This is the area where you can move the hands. So this area uh, here is it's like the topmost uh, left position, the right most left air position, up and down. So right now we don't got anything. So if I press play, the hands don't don't appear. So. Um, we need to add the, uh, let's see, uh, create empty, uh, hands manager, let's add, uh, if I remember, hand model manager, yeah, it's the hand model manager, manager. so uh, we got a here, here um, a pool. So we need to add uh, so many hands we want to manage. We, we just want to manage one hand, okay? One hand, one pair of hands. So we add one pair of hands. Okay, and of course we need to drag here the lib uh, service provider. If we don't add it here, it works equally, but let's, let's add it. So, here we need to put the group name so uh, uh, read it hands no uh, physic hand physic hands so it's just a name don't worry is enabled and we don't want duplicate so for, um, we need to create these hands so uh, Let's create here, create empty, and call it hands, hands. Reset. Anani, an Abid, a child. Put it left. Or maybe we can, nah, nah, left. Another component, and this component is called Rigid hand, rigid hand. So here, uh, put the hand handness to the left, okay. And fingers, we don't want fingers, okay. Check out, and we just want the the palm, okay. So we can um, track our palm here. So we need to, 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 to add a 3D object and uh, cube, I mean, yeah, cube. Okay, we got a cube here. Reset uh, and the scale. Let's make it similar to a hand, uh, a palm. No, this is like this. Okay, we got something like a palm, more or less. Okay. <clears throat> So let's drag the cube as a child of this, of the left hand, and add it here. So you see the cube move it to the to the left hand position. If so, if I press play, ah, of course we need to to add here our left hand to <clears throat> get detected. So if I press play. Uh, when the text the hand, <laughs> you can rotate the hand, okay? So you can check my, my palm, okay? So it moves, but so slowly, maybe, or it's it's too big, the, the, the cube, you know? So maybe we, we also need to um, put near the camera. So let's move the camera. Is it a position to, to see better? Whoa, 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 whoa. Just a moment. To see better the, the hand movement. So you can see, you can rotate, and it moves. 
So it moves so poorly because the lip service parameter, as you've seen, is tiny compared to before uh, with the cube, you know. So we need to scale this good cube. So put it zero and zero here and zero here and zero point one. It's according to the lip service providing right now. So oh uh, uh, the main camera needs to approach it. Move it. We can also move the lip service provider to see what's going on. Okay. As you can see, we move correctly. correctly. Hmm. Right now, the move, the, the or palm moves correctly. Okay. So, uh, we need to do this in, in the other hand. Okay, this is just a play placeholder. Okay, so let's do this to the um, let's do another hand, create the empty child, right? Uh, rigid hand, rigid hand, no, rigid hand, we don't want fingers, right? And we duplicate this cube to make the, the other palm. Uh, we don't need the box collider, but okay, it's, it's okay. So we need to assign this palm to. Okay, now we got the, the two palms. And also we need to drag this element here. So we have the right hand and press play. And okay, when he did that correctly, the hands, <laughs> we got two palms perfectly. Okay, so as you can see, if I delete here the lip service provider, uh, I think it, it gets the first lip service provider he, he found. Okay, yeah, let's see, yeah. Okay, but to be secure, just assign it, okay? Okay, save. Um, and now what we need? We need to to adapt our, our project to be something like 2D project, okay? So, so we need to make a few changes to the camera to be like 2D project. So we need to be the, the camera to be orthographic, okay? So we the, the zeta position doesn't care anymore, okay? Uh, so here, uh, also we need to put the camera in the zero position, zero, zero, zero. Okay, good. And the hands disappear, okay? But this is normal, okay? Uh, because, because the the lip service provider is, is a bit tiny. It's here, the lip service provider, or rather provider, <laughs> compared to the camera, okay? The camera here is too big compared to this, these hands. So let's change the, the size of the camera until, until we can see the, ah, of course, we, we can see the hands right now here in the preview. Because it's in the Zeta position, the same position that the lip service provider, so we put it uh, near, okay? A bit near. Minus, minus one is, is a correct value, okay? So we have this camera pointing to these hands, and uh, oh, the size is still too big, okay? You can see our hands now are normal. We can lower a bit the lip service provider and check it. Mm -hmm. Now, so I put the hand, so we can see our hands, okay, our palms. Okay, but we still need to do uh, a 
few changes here. The camera, as you can see, it's too big. The the planes, the, the near plane, and the far plane are, are the far plane is too far. <laughs> okay, the far the near plane. Let's put it in the the zero position, so it starts where the camera starts, and the far plane is one thousand units. Okay, too much. And uh, let's put it like ten. Ah, oh, less, less, okay. something like this, so we can see our hands, but this is just a play holder, remember, our hands. So we got to here. <coughs> our scene is now um, prepared to be 2D, okay, so we can put a solid color to the camera, so we can see solid color. And uh, let's put it full HD. So it's the same. I I changed the the near and the the far plane, but it's, it's the same. It's all the, the same. Okay. And what we need to do now? Okay. Yes. If you wish, we can create now the the cursor. So create an empty object. Let's say uh, put the lip. Cursor. Okay, and we need to a sprite renderer. What we got here is uh, put it the knob. So it's too big this knob. Let's change the size. So this is our cursor. The visit we don't care about this. Okay. So we got the cursor here. We want to move this cursor with, with our hand. But first, what we need to do is to put this cursor... Where is the camera? camera. This cursor that is here right now, as you can see, it's a bit difficult, but it's here, our cursor. We need to put the cursor here, in the near camera, a near plane. Okay? Because... Um, we're gonna have the the canvas here at the at the far plane. So let's do this right now. Let's do a UI put canvas. Okay, we got the canvas here. Event system. It's it's we need it. So the canvas we can put it in screen space camera mine camera plane distance. Okay, so our main camera is here, our canvas, let's put a UI and image name, okay, like it's our background, this, okay, let's put this as a background, uh, something like that, uh, you can see now. What I made is just that the image, image, put assign the and the sprite of the, uh, of the image and shift alt and press here to amplify this to to all. Okay. Okay. So we need to put the the plane distance of the canvas, same as the the far plane, okay, so the camera have the far plane at 1.5 so let's make the canvas here to be here as you can see, just a little bit more okay, so it's, it's, the, it's in the background, okay, the canvas we got the cursor, we still got the cursor here but it's okay So let's create a script for the lip cursor and the hands. Let's hide the the palms. Okay, we don't need anymore, just as a plate holder. And what we need here is to go to lip cursor at the component and lip cursor new script. Left cursor. Okay, let's check. 
open it. So what we need to do now is, is put the, the position of this left cursor to uh, the near the zeta position to the near plane of the camera. Okay, so what we need to do is, um, for example, uh, this we want this. Okay, so uh, we are the script is in the same place of the lip cursor of the sprite render. So we can put this uh, transform into position. So we need to put this in a new position, so new vector 3 and uh, okay, we don't need to put this in fact, it's position dot x so it's the same x, the same y y and this is a new position that we can call it um, private zeta pos of course it's a float float and okay. it's a float so we need to put this to zeta position what is how we calculate this new zeta position so um, Zeta position is equal <coughs> to camera the main point um, transform the position. Okay, the zeta, the zeta position. Okay, so we get the zeta position of the camera, but we need to add it the uh, near clip plane. Um, Offset. So, uh, in all cases, the it's the same. Our camera got uh, here are the position of the camera, and our near clip plane is in, in the same position. But if we change it, okay, it's it's a good practice to to add it. We make some changes. So, camera that main and that. Near clip plane. Okay, so if I press play now, and this is not important. Okay, so if I press play now, we got here the um, the lip cursor in front of the canvas. Okay, so uh, while it's in front of the canvas, we can see it in the scene. But if it's behind, we can see it. Okay, so it's important to be in the nearest plane of the camera because if we are behind the nearest plane of the camera, main camera, it's here. The, the pointer is here. Okay, you can see if I get the the the, 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 the where is the at the cushion. If I put it behind the camera. So we also don't see the, the cursor. So it's important to be just in a bit in front of the camera. So we can place uh, uh, any other objects in between the, the, the canvas and the and the pointer. Okay, if we need to do something like three D, not just in the canvas. For example, if uh, here the cursor in the maybe in the nearest plane of the camera. Uh, yeah, it's it's, in the, it's near the camera. Okay, so here, for example, for example, we have the our palms, our three D objects. So we want to put an object between. So if I press play, uh, our cursor is uh, on the on, on our screen even if we put 3D objects between, okay? So, uh, I press play now, so the, our, our cursor moved to the nearest plane of the camera, okay? 
and one second I take out this if I move our cursor 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 is here if I move for example behind you can see the cursor but if I press, press play the cursor moves in uh, near the camera okay here near the, the, the near plane okay that's our first go let's do uh, the movement in the x and the y of the of the lift cursor okay so we want to move the cursor like this while moving the hand okay how we do this how we do this so let's go to the script and let's do this uh, in an easy way and let's use the cursor for the moment so we need to get the cursor position in the screen so to move the um, the cursor in the screen first we need to private float x position of the cursor private float y position Okay, so moving our screen, we need to in the update put something like um, transform that position equals to new vector three of uh, x position uh, y position and Zeta position. position. Okay. So uh, we don't need this anymore. And we need to transform the position of the mouse to the 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 screen space to the word position. Okay. So we can do this to private uh, vector three. Uh, mouse position. Let's do this. Doing uh, vector three. Uh, mouse pos mouse pos equals to camera main and. What to screen point or don't remember it's like a screen to work point okay screen to work point uh, so we need the position of the mouse so input mouse position and we got already this okay so return mouse position okay so with this if we want to move with with our mouse like to do this as a play, placeholder let's uh, uh, do like uh, x position it's equals to mouse position the panel mouse position dot x well we can do this vector three mouse pos equal a mouse position so we can mouse position dot x and we want the e position dot y okay so now if we press play uh, we can move the the cursor while we are in in the screen okay it moves perfectly and the zeta position is always the the near plane of the camera okay if I put this in 
maximize on play and maximize you, as you can see the the cursor follows us okay now we want to do this with or in motion okay 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 that's the the, the question we need the coordinate of our hand to to move our the cursor okay so how we do this mm, we can do it like we can do it poorly like we use the so you can see the service provider right now is like let's do a perspective front perspective and do it isometric okay so um we can move this lip service provider if we active the our palms okay in the game so when i press play we move our our palms uh, but it's not around the over screen okay because we we go out of the screen and this is because our, our lip service provider is is partly out of the of the screen area we can change the the lip service provider position right now, right now it is in the zero 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 but we can drag it down and more or less be in the same space that that the in the of the screen okay the camera this is super because sometimes we can change the lip service provider and change all everything in and we don't want this okay so if you want you can get this this position of the of the palm in the world space okay and um, this is the left hand in the world space and I move it around the cursor in the same way okay but what we need we what we want is get the local coordinate of this palm in the in the lip service provider okay so we don't care if the lip service provider is here or or whatever okay so um this palm for example uh, Right now, these coordinates are, are the, the local coordinates in the lip service provider. And that's the coordinates we want. OK, so um, in the X position, as you can see, well, as you can see, let's do this like make the service provider be in this, this space, so we can see. Um, there is a, a safe zone where you can move the the cursor, either the your hand in the lip motion that is more or less the in the X position, the minus zero point three. And if I go further, it, it lost the track, okay, but more or less minus zero point three to zero point three, more or less. It will lose the track. Okay, and um, if we want to move, we can get this coordinate to put the the cursor in the X position. Okay, but if we want to move the cursor up and down, we can get the the Y. But this have a problem because if you, I go down, 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 I'm occluding the the lips, the lip motion. Okay, you know. I go down and occluding so before I get 0 0.3 more or less minus 0 0.3 it is tough to work okay that, so that's a problem so um, it's good to to move your hand uh, to make the up and down movement of the cursor uh, if we use the zeta position okay so um, if I go front more or less Mm, it, it lost the track more or less in the wait a second if I put in the the table more or less if I in the 0 0.2 it's 
start to lost the, lost the tracking okay and more or less uh, to minus well can get further okay but more or less we we our safe space will be uh, 0 0.2 and minus 0 0.2 okay so sorry for this strange explanation but in summary we can get this coordinates to to move our up our cursor okay sorry guys i need to stop here uh, i need to prepare the next part and do it better i think <laughs> sorry for my english a little bit bad okay but um the next video will be soon so don't worry and support if you like it because it's important to me to continue uh, realizing these tutorials because i need to know that people need it and, and, and like it and it's useful you know so see ya